I think that there is an important role for think tanks. Uh, the only thing is that their role is changing. I think think tanks and NGOs have been used to have this privileged uh, position, uh, influencing power directly and being part of the elites. And now, because the elite structures collapse, they have to uh, adjust to the new climate. So they are suddenly competing for the attention. They don't have a direct uh, uh, influence on politicians anymore. So I think that the think tanks will be very needed, uh, specialists in society are needed, because I believe that ultimately the sustainable solutions are the good ones. They are tested by time, by knowledge, and of course specialists who are preparing policies and who are implementing policies will always need white papers. Even me as an activist who try to advocate for certain issues, I need white papers, I need the knowledge, I need to be good at argumentation. So do media. Uh, so do other opinion makers in the society. So uh, the white papers will be needed, but the target group for that will be much smaller or is small. But what I think is that uh, think tanks can uh, also use their knowledge not to sell it collectively as, as a package to, uh, to the society, but they can also become uh, influential debaters and, and influential movers and shakers with soci in societies and they can be more active in communicating micro messages so not the whole white paper but if a white paper contains something very important a micro detail or a finding that is useful for this debate on Twitter or that debate on Facebook or this reaction to a certain uh, public debate in the media I think that is worth uh, to do it for example I can tell you one um, uh, example for Fair Play Alliance, my organization, our more, more, most successful post on Facebook uh, was a letter of Václav Havel, of former president of Czechoslovakia, withdrawing uh, Ivan Gašparovič from the uh, position of general prosecutor of Czechoslovakia. Now he is currently a president of Slovakia and he's facing another debate to withdraw him from, from the position. And I was very surprised by this, that we published a letter uh, which was in a sense just showing a certain attitude of the president to this to this person but wasn't any significant in in that debate as such but what we did that after this picture we uh, we posted a link to a complete uh, parliamentary debate about uh, our current president yeah. and what happened is that people got really um, interested in this because of the power of the letter and part of them read the whole debate and started parallel discussions on the internet. So uh, without this post, nobody would even know that there is such a debate from the past that might be relevant to the discussion. And of course not everybody is going to read it, uh, but it helped to, to really steer the, the debate on different places uh, about this issue.